In 605 BC Nebuchadnezzar II, king of Babylon defeated Pharaoh Necho at the Battle of Karchemish, and subsequently invaded Judah. To avoid the destruction of Jerusalem, King Jehoiakim of Judah, in his third year, changed allegiances from Egypt to Babylon. He paid tribute from the treasury in Jerusalem, some temple artifacts, and some of the royal family and nobility as hostages. In 601 BC, during the fourth year of his reign, Nebuchadnezzar unsuccessfully attempted to invade Egypt and was repulsed with heavy losses. This failure led to numerous rebellions among the states of the Levant which owed allegiance to Babylon, including Judah, where King Jehoiakim stopped paying tribute to Nebuchadnezzar and took a pro-Egyptian position. Nebuchadnezzar soon dealt with these rebellions. According to the Nebuchadnezzar Chronicle, he laid siege to Jerusalem, which eventually fell on to Adar 597 BC. The Chronicle states, In the seventh year of Nebuchadnezzar, 598 BC, in the month Chisel, November, December, the king of Babylon assembled his army, and after he had invaded the land of Hatti he laid siege to the city of Judah. On the second day of the month of Adar, the 16th of March, he conquered the city and took the king, Jeconiah, prisoner. He installed in his place a king, Zedekiah, of his own choice, and after he had received rich tribute, he sent forth to Babylon. Jehoiakim died during the siege, possibly on 22 March Eshvan 598 BC, or during the months of Kizil, or Tevet. Nebuchadnezzar pillaged the city and its temple, and the new king Jeconiah, who was either 8 or 18 at the time, and his court and other prominent citizens and craftsmen, and much of the Jewish population of Judah, numbering about 10,000 were deported to Babylon. This deportation occurred prior to Nisan of 597 BC, and dates in the book of Ezekiel accounted from this event. A biblical text reports that none remained except the poorest people of the land, and that also taken to Babylon were the treasures and furnishings of the temple, including golden vessels dedicated by King Solomon. These events are described in the Nevi'im and Ketuvim sections of the Tanakh. This first deportation is the start of the Jewish diaspora. Nebuchadnezzar installed Jeconiah's uncle, Zedekiah, as puppet king of Judah, while Jeconiah was compelled to remain in Babylon. The start of Zedekiah's reign has been variously dated within a few weeks before or after the start of Nisan 597 BC. Chronological Note the Babylonian Chronicles, which were published by Donald Wiseman in 1956, established that Nebuchadnezzar captured Jerusalem the first time on 2 Adar 597 BC, before Wiseman's publication. Thela had determined from the biblical texts that Nebuchadnezzar's initial capture of Jerusalem occurred in the spring of 597 BC. While other scholars, including Albright, more frequently dated the event to 598 BC, 